Welcome back to the how to make a 3D customization menu in Unity series. My name is Noah, creator of Blackthorn Prod, and in episode 4 we will begin work in Unity, tweaking import settings, adding materials to our character, and creating some simple UI. So with that said, let's get cracking. Alright, so I'm in my for now bare Unity project. I'm going to select my character rig asset that we imported in the previous video and change a few things in the import settings. First of all, I'm going to make the character a little bigger by increasing the scale factor to 10. I'm then going to go over here and uncheck import materials. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to create materials straight inside of Unity. We don't need the default Maya one, so let's delete this material folder. Then leave the rest of the settings as they are. Okay, I'm then going to drag and drop this character rig asset into my hierarchy. As you can see, he looks a complete mess. So I'll start by hiding some of the models to keep the character looking clean. I'm then going to create three folders, one called Models, the other called Animations, and lastly, Materials. I then drag and drop my Character Rig asset into the Models folder, my Idle Animation into the Animation folder, and then, opening up my Material folder, I'll just create a few materials we will then apply to our character, keeping in mind that in later tutorials, we will leave the player the possibility to customize the material's color. Okay, so I'll create a head material, a body mat that is used for the body, arms and legs, and a few eye materials. Remember to rename them nicely, not to get confused later on in development. I'll then go over to my animation folder Select my idle sequence and change the value of scale factor to 10. Just like we did for the rig, so we don't get any weird animation behavior. I'll then uncheck import materials. Okay, let's then head over to the animation tab and give our animation a name. I'll just call it idle. Let's check loop time so the character keeps on animating. Okay, one last step must be taken to get our character moving about in the scene view. We must create an animator controller. So right click and select animator controller and give it a name. I'll simply call it character AC. Drag and drop the idle animation inside of the animator controller and then drag and drop the character animation controller inside of this empty slot inside the animator component. If we press play, we can now see our character has come to life. Okay, now that we have applied materials and set up all the animation and import settings, let's just tweak the scene to make it look a little nicer. I'll change the lights, make the camera background color a dark gray, and add a little stool our character can stand on. Once you've finished beautifying your menu, we can get cracking on the UI. I'll start by making the UI for the eyes. So I'll place correctly my text and then type in here, eyes. Changing the color and size ever so slightly. I'll simply duplicate this UI twice and name my newly created text to head and arms. I'll then duplicate the eyes text once again, name it head color and move it on the other side of our character. I'll also make something to indicate the body color. Lastly, I want to create some UI buttons. I'll just use Photoshop to make some simple looking images for the buttons. But of course, any simple 2D application will do just fine, such as GIMP or Inkscape. So I'll make an arrow, I'll leave it white and change the color in Unity, as well as a simple square. I then import these two assets into Unity and place them in a folder called UI. I make sure these two assets are 2D sprites inside of the import settings. I'll then create a button UI 
place the arrow image inside of this empty slot and place it nicely next to the eyes text. I'll repeat this process for the head and arms. The player will be clicking on these to flip through the eye, head and arm variations. I'll then create buttons using the squares. The player will be clicking on these to change the character's color. Okay, super, now that the UI, character and animation have been set up, we will actually create a C-sharp script in the next tutorial that will let the player customize how his character looks by flicking through model variations. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the creation process of this 3D customization menu and are finding it easy to follow along. With that said, don't forget to be awesome by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. I can assure you each new subscriber is a celebrating matter. Alright, see you very soon. Cheers!